Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel again and uh, it's the time for library of the week for flutter and uh, especially this series is all about uh, exploring different libraries which you might have not used or which you might uh, don't know about so this is the episode number six of uh, flutter library of the week and this is one of those videos which uh, uh, personally i feel that can be very important for you because today we are gonna talk about how to store keys okay so that's one thing uh, and uh, and uh, it's it's like uh, I'm gonna tell you so many things in that video uh, which can be really helpful for your uh, real world application development so keep watching and uh, before we proceed subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber already press the bell icon to get future updates and then um, let's start so guys uh this video is uh, not like i have to show you anything on the screen uh it can be a very normal video where we will just talk about things and uh, we can go on so a um, lot of the times what happens uh, you need a place where you want to store your keys um and it can be anything it's not like uh, it's, it's need to be a sensitive data but it can be anything uh normal keys especially um so when uh like you have different kind of environments then uh, you m want a particular place where you can store keys depending on those environments so that's that's if if that's your target then this video is definitely for you even if let's say uh, you are someone who is contributing to open source or if you are someone who is pushing your codes to github but you don't want to share your keys with everyone so then also you would want to have an environment file which you don't push on github so if you want that then definitely this video is again for you so now we are gonna start this video with a package which is flutter config um so i i'll go to my pub spec yaml which i'm already in and inside the dev dependency i'm gonna add flutter uh config and the version would be 1.0.5 which is the latest version and then i'll do some indentation and uh, it will add this for me okay and then uh once it is done what we are gonna do uh so yeah it's done now what we are gonna do uh we can create in the root folder we can create a file which we can say dot env which means dot environment and here I can store anything which I want and I can access it anywhere even in my flutter application or in my native Android or iOS code um, if you don't want to do something like uh, crazy or some additional advanced stuff then you don't have to actually do anything except one thing which is first you have to add your uh, whatever variable you want to add here so let's say if I say API URL so i can say https amtechviral.com slash api and uh, yeah and this is how i can access it then i can add something like fabric id and i can say power one one two three four five so these are my environment variables which i can store then guys there is a disclaimer which i just want to say even if you will go to the particular library then you will find the same disclaimer which is uh, which i'm gonna also prove as well if you want me to prove which is very simple and um, very easy to understand and that is that this particular keys which you are storing here are not any kind of secrets or not like they it does not get encrypted it does not get obfuscated so if if you want to just prevent some sensitive data then this is not for you i mean don't ever put any sensitive data here because um it's not gonna work for you it's it's just a configuration file where you can store your configurations or um, maybe anything else which 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 are not sensitive as as such okay so this is how you will store it and then um sometimes what happens actually is like uh, if you feel that uh, i will store my keys in my strings.xml if you're an android developer many people think like they can store things uh, in proguard 
or build configs so there is a link in the description which you can read which is also available on the package itself which tells you that it is kind of impossible to um, actually you know keep anything sensitive uh, like which cannot be reverse engineered okay um, so it's it's almost near to impossible because there can be many kind of people who will somehow get access to your data which you are trying to like prevent from them uh, so if someone has a good knowledge of smiley let's say then he can also decode those pro guarded files so of a scattered files in fact so uh, that's that's one thing now a lot of talking is done now let's move ahead so uh, what I'll do I have done this uh, in dot environment files now I will go to my um, lib main dot dart here you can see this is not an asynchronous method so first of all I will make it asynchronous then I want to add multiple lines so I will just remove that lambda thing from here and I can say first of all you have to write widget binding or widget widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized that ensure that everything is initialized then what we will do we will load all the variables using flutter config and we need to import flutter config for that so flutter config and then flutter config okay why well, it's not working i don't know yeah and load environment variables so so that every environment variable should be loaded here and then um, here in the build part I can let's say print any key which can be let's say I can use flutter config dot get or even I can access all the variables from here which will give me the index and the value as well key and the value so what is the key key is let's say API URL I want to access it so I can access it um, so there are a few things like if you are running it on uh, let's say oh, it's already there okay let's say if you are running it on let let me run it on Android then initially you will receive few errors so for Android you have to do some changes so you will go to Android folder inside the app there is build.gradle and uh, below this line where it is written apply from uh, flutter.gradle you have to paste one more line which is this which I'm just gonna paste so below this line I'm gonna paste apply from project flutter config which is the package we are using and from that directory and path we are gonna just access dot environment dot cradle file so this is what you need and uh, if you are not migrated to Kotlin let's say this this project is in Kotlin so maybe you need to add dependencies of Kotlin I can show you that but before that let me just run it and see if that is working so as soon as I will run it on my Android device and you can see we will get this thing in the console if you are not getting this then then that means it is not working reading env from dot env and uh, I can also show you my simulator but it does not have anything so it doesn't matter uh, so it will go here and I'm just gonna add a breakpoint here and you can see um, still syncing and yeah it's stuck here so there is some invalid ID which I got which is fine I don't care about that now I'll just move to the next line and you can see um, I can just remove the breakpoints now and you can see we got this particular thing which is you know our API uh, URL and if I just clean this out and let me just write here fabric ID which was my second key and uh, if I restart then you will see it's power one one two three four five this is the same thing which I written here okay so this is one of the things which you can do and uh, for Android you just have to add this one line but for iOS uh, you don't have to do additional setup now let's go to the uh, plugin itself so you can see it is highly inspired from react native config which is a very popular library itself this is what we did uh, similar thing right and this is how we added it 
now if you want to um, and and it is written here that uh, this is this is the uh, link which you can open that why it is not uh, like possible to prevent uh, users from reverse engineering your apps there are many ways people can do that and in fact i'm gonna just show you that uh, how you can get access to these variables dot environment if you have a decompiled apk and uh, then there is an android setup guide which you can open where uh, it has some instruction like how can you use it in your android code um, how you can use it in your gradle file let's say if you don't want to give pro application id manually then you can use this uh, environment file to get get access even you can use in xml files and you can have different uh, environments as i told you like you can have debug production staging environments and you can generate different files for that let's say there will be one dot env file there will be one dot env dot development dot env dot production dot env dot staging something like that so there are some steps let me know if you can do this if you have a requirement otherwise i'll make a separate video on this because i don't want to waste your time that much and then if you have different package names like uh, if you have uh, um, an application which is different id for um, like uh, application with the advertisement and there can be a pro version of it which has a different application id then also you can use it and uh, if you are having some problem with kotlin then make sure you uh, use this particular thing with your project level gradle file and then in the main app.gradle you just uh, write this particular dependency so yeah these are the things which can be a problem for you now coming to ios you don't have to do anything if you just want to access like how i showed you but then if you want to access it in your, uh, in your swift file or objective c then you this is how you can use it then if you want to use info.plist for storing these keys then also you can uh, follow this guide to do that now when you will run um, the particular app in ios then it might give you an issue with the pod installation so for that let me just tell you if you'll go to is folder and if you'll go to pod file make sure you uncomment this particular line and uh, make sure the ios version is 10 or more than 10 it does not work below uh, 10 so that's again one thing which i wanted to tell you and it works pretty good with ios as well so that's about this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope it can be useful for you uh, let me know in the comments what's your views about it and uh, press the like button if you like the video and also share with your friends who are into flutter or even an android or ios um, this video can be helpful for everyone so thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care and uh, one more thing if you want to push it to github then make sure in the dot git ignore you just add somewhere here the dot env file you don't want to track it so yeah this is how you can avoid that and uh, yeah that's it but i'm gonna push it to github so don't worry you can access it from um my source code and you can see how it's working so thank you guys bye bye take care and keep fluttering